Hi guys, my name's Harry and I wanted to talk to you a bit about this new bike here. This is called the Leap Antelope from Antelope Power. So this is a bike that's made in Zhejiang province in China. And you might be wondering what's different about it, so I want to take you through some of the unique selling points and some of the reasons that it's actually quite special as a bike. So, first of all, what this bike is specifically designed at is what serious heavy enduro or racing enduro bike. It's not designed to be like a fun toy. This product is actually designed for serious professional races and it's actually already taken part in a series of professional races and come already in winning places in China. So it's already designed from the ground up as a race bike, not as a cheap toy product. Quite a bit different in that respect. So what I want to take you through is some of the specifications and what makes this more of a professional enduro bike than a cheap toy bike. So let's start at the front. So we've got obviously racing grade tires and Euro brakes. We can start with the front shots. So these are at 39 millimeter diameter front shots. So these are really wide. And up here, the guard goes all the way around, completely around the outside to protect the aluminium. So it's really designed for, for heavy use cases. Inside, the oil is actually from Germany. So it's using completely professional grade oil for racing grades. On the handlebars here, at the ends of the handlebar clubs, we have aluminium drop handlebar drop handlebar caps to protect it if it falls down so you can pick it right up again. The handlebar itself is actually made of grade 7 aluminium instead of grade 6 aluminium. So it's very difficult to bend it. It's much stronger than standard aluminium. On top of that, if we go along the bike, now there's a lot of stuff to talk about here but we're going to get to the main key point of it is this thing. So it's got a reduction so that means it's got an internal gearbox built into it motor, it's a hairpin motor, so instead of using windings, which is individual wires, it actually uses solid pieces of copper which have been bent into hairpins. What does that mean? It means that the motor can be much more efficient in terms of energy density, in terms of maximum power output that it can achieve. So, the maximum power output of this motor is actually 25 kilowatts. So when you compare that to some of the other ones on the market, that's a huge power difference. That gives it an absolutely massive torque of over 810 newton meters of torque, which is a massive torque. Top speed of over 110 kilometers an hour. So it's really got a lot of power in the drive. And that's where they started with this idea of a professional racing bike, is the drivetrain. Even the sprockets back here, they're actually CNC sprockets. See on this rear tire, they're actually CNC grade sprockets back here. So they are not the standard standard stuff here. This is really nice racing gear. The tire, rear tire, extra wide, extra thick, extra heavy for extra grip. The body panel parts are all soft plastic, PC, so it's really flexible, they can bounce, they can bend, you can just get it back up again and ride with it. They're also really easy to replace, they just pop on and off, so it's really designed for racing. The whole body frame, die cast solid aluminium, really high grade, so lightweight, the whole thing weighs just 90 kilos, which for 25 kilowatts of power is massive. On top of that, in the middle, we've got a 4.4 kilowatt hour battery, that's 72 volts, 60 amp hours. That means that for the lot of this weight is really battery, which is quite an impressive range we get. So that means that 80 kilometers an hour driving, you'll get maybe 70 kilometers range on it. If you're driving at uh, standard city speeds at like 40, 45, 50 kilometers an hour, you can get up to 200 kilometers driving range on it. It's got a charging port here for you to do the charging on board. The battery is also swappable, which I'll show you in a second, how to get the battery out to modify it. Um, but first, let's go up here and take a look at the display. So up here, we've got a lot of controls on the display. Here you can see the taco in the middle here. But I really like one of my favorite features on this is here. We've actually got the temperature along the top of the motor, the controller and the battery. Right? So that actually gives you some real time data as you're racing on the performance of the bike. And when it gets a little too hot in one of those areas, it'll actually turn yellow and indicate to you. That I find is a really neat feature because it gives you feedback on how the bike is performing. So as normal on the handlebars, you've got your kill switch over here. You've got your regen braking control here, headlight control, left and right indicators. This is only a prototype right now, but the actual mass production thing is going to be ECE approved. So it will be drivable on the streets in Europe and America. Horn here. Here we've got the mode set. Can change here to tackle the limiter. Here we can change the gears. Here we can enter park mode and not park mode. Here we can change between sports, eco. 
so you can set the tackle on the sport here. You can play with all of these things. It's got sport mode, comfort mode, performance mode, and turbo mode. Um, adjustable front shocks, preload adjustable here. You can see you can adjust the front shocks. Really nice brake calipers here, visible oil. Here is the reverse function, so we've even got a reverse function, so you hold this and drive, and you can go backwards as well while you're at it. Park button over here. So it's got a whole suite of controls, really nice feeling, professional grips here as well, racing quality grips. So it's got the whole suite of controls going on in here as well. Um, adjustable handlebar you can see here. So it's got a lot of, a lot of good controls. Let's get inside. So if I just turn this off here, so I can put the key in down here. We pop around this side. Oh yeah, before I forget, CNC foot pegs, portable CNC foot pegs in here, really nice as well. Premium quality, here's the skid plate. That's another point, is this one has. One second, I really wanted to bring this up. It's got 300, there it is. It's got 345 millimeters of ground clearance. And that's actually one of the highest ground clearances on a enduro bike, a uh, racing enduro bike out there. So that was one of the other key fundamental things they designed in the beginning is huge power and massive ground clearance and really good shocks. You can see the inner shock here is quite nice too. The rear shock here, this spring, really wide diameter on this spring. It's front of job is yeah, 39 millimeters and this is 12 diameter millimeters. So 12 millimeter diameter on this spring is a really nice look. It's also adjustable at the top here with the cylinder, so it's really a nice way. But let's get inside. So if we pop the key in over here, in the keyhole, pop off the seat, so you're probably used to it, the seat just clicks off like this. Then inside here, you've got some toolkit. Here you can put your sunglasses, your water, for whatever you like up in here. So then here, we've got the batteries actually stored under this part here. So if I lift this up, nice and easy, here's the battery. So this is the charging plug here. This is the discharging port. So charging side, discharging side. If I want to remove the battery, I just have to unscrew these two clips here. Click these off. I can just show you. It pops right away. Pops off. Like so. Quite heavy duty, so you can see that's a very nice quality connector. Pops out, and then you can actually... I'm not going to do it now for the sake of the length of the video, but you can lift it out with one arm. If you take a look here, 72 volts, 60 amp hours, 4.4 kilowatts, UN38.3 certified. So, very nice battery that's using NMC cells. So these are cylindrical 21700 cells, really premium stuff. So all in all, it's a very nice looking. You can get it in white, red, gray. Um, there will be other colors in the immediate future. It's a very nice looking bike. It's a very premium quality feel. Premium aluminum everywhere, high grade, grade 700, about 7,000 aluminum. Lots of CNC parts, really good stuff. Um, really super high power motors, super high power, super high ground clearance. Great front shocks, great central shocks. So it's a standard looking one, but on the technical level, it's really like a, on a high level. And the price is really competitive. I won't give away the price. You'll have to find the price for yourself. But uh, if you get in contact with them, I'll give you the price. But I can tell you, it's actually really. Uh, on a competitive side for this performance specs. And it's also gonna come with a series of upgrades. So for example, you'll be able to buy CNC premium uh, brake levers on it in production. There'll be other tires, there'll be a series of range of other upgrades that you can actually get as well. So I think it's gonna be something really special when it's on the market in Europe, and I think it's gonna be a really cool product. So keep an eye on it, because it's gonna be racing, it's gonna be in a lot of news, it's gonna be around, I think, on some racetracks, and uh, definitely keep an eye on it. I think it's gonna be a great product when it's out there. Okay, nice to talk to you guys. Have a good day. Enjoy.